Okay, we are working on another dresser today. Uh, this is kind of the rough dimensions, drawer sizes. We got the sides, the top, the back, <coughs> drawer box material, drawer bottoms. This is all three quarter inch tiger ply. Good and lots of layers. So we're gonna do a bunch of pocket holes. I'm not gonna video it because that's boring. We'll be back. All right, we got all the pocket holes drilled. There's the side, there's another side, there's the back. Um, the back fits inside of everything. So I have sanded this varnish or whatever this pre-finished coating is off. So when I glue those sides, it'll actually have something to adhere to and not just the varnish because that would suck. So now I'm going to lay that on this table here because my workbench is full of crap. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use a couple of nails to hold it in place and then I'll pocket screw it because um, I don't have any fancy clamps or anything and pocket screws can sometimes make the wood move around a little bit and I don't feel like dealing with it. It's gonna get painted anyway. three feet. This tape measure sucks. Three feet. Just ever so slightly different, but that is only being supported by those two little things right there. So that's the difference between good plywood and crap plywood. here doing nothing because I glued the wrong side or not glued sorry I nailed the wrong side so always double and triple check all that stuff so they end up not being a like me Thank you. 
All right, doing the faces now. I'm probably gonna prime these a couple times and do some filling on them. Uh, using regular pine was not my ideal choice for the faces of these, but I'm on a budget and I had these, so that's what we're gonna use. Now we're going to start mounting the backs of the slides in there. These are not blums, they're knockoffs, so they're not going to be as nice. The first thing I'm doing is those little pegs here that you're supposed to drill holes for in the back of the dresser. Took the... We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Took the scroll saw and just cut them off. Blums don't need them, these won't need them. Should be fine. So now I just need to figure out where these go. This is the same idea as a blum, except these are just cheaper, so they're made out of plastic. That's why... The cheaper ones are cheaper. So I just need to figure out where height wise I want to put these. It's an airplane or a helicopter. Too cloudy. All right, well, this went faster than I thought it was going to, so I totally forgot to video. But they're all mounted on the back there, on the front. They can still move around a little bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to want to move them, so I've only got one screw in there right now. And the only reason these aren't, these are supposed to sit up flush, but I held them back slightly. Just because this is a little bit deeper than I was originally planning, so it'll work.
All right, so now the dimensions of this box are slightly different than what should be done for that. It's slightly wider. So I'm going to, I have my little storyboard here. I'm gonna figure out how exactly I wanna do it and we'll modify slightly. Not a big deal. I'd rather make this a little bit bigger than smaller because if this was smaller, I'd be remaking these boxes and I don't wanna do that. All right, the boxes are mounted in the dresser. Now we're gonna take the faces that still need to be painted, and we're gonna drill them for the handles. And I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use these holes to temporarily mount these. So I'm gonna hold them up on the face and measure them. It's probably a better way of doing it, but that's what I've done, and it works. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, this was another fun build. I don't have any good audio in this video because my other kid was sleeping in the room next to that room when I did this video. So I like the way it turned out. And like I did with the other dresser that you guys didn't see, I painted the inside of the drawers to match the rooms and the outside was just white. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.